e, lilikuwa kama jambo la kushangaza sana ilikuwa jambo la kushangaza sana kuona rafiki yangu mkubwa na vile vile a very very big name in content creation the pluto e, nikuulize kuna story na trend that the pluto andao kusuta andao umesikia hii story Yeah, nilisikia it's been trending only. So ulimjuaje tanda? Ulijua sorry ulijuaje The Pluto ulimjulia wapi? The Pluto mimi nilimjua through Tandao TV. Mm-hmm. Yo show ya loyalty test. Yes. Uh, Tandao TV I think. Um I think on a Friday yeah inakuanga hapo. So mimi I knew the Pluto through Tandao TV. Kweli personally napenda kazi yake. Napenda kazi yake. Na sio ati labda hadijawahi kuongea na Pluto anaweza kupitisha kinyume kama nadanganya tandao imefanya mtu kama mi kumjua Pluto na in fact nafaa kuja kwa shukuru tu na sio vile tena kwamba sisi kama runinga manager tandao TV Kenya tunatumia e, tunaiba bila nilisema tunaiba content yake Hayo ni masuala ambayo sita dwell so much because he has talked openly vile anataka kutupeleka kotini so it's a matter that I will leave it to the courts and also to our legal team to deal with it because uh, contrary to what somebody might believe we are not doing anything wrong we have not done anything wrong Naam watazamaji karibuni katika maongezi ambayo ningependa kuwapatia kutoka hapa katika runinga ya manager ya Tandao TV Kenya na jina langu kwa wale ambao hamnijui labda naitwa Robert Wanyonyi mimi ni CEO wa Tandao TV Kenya na ni kitu ambacho kimekuwa kazini kwa muda sasa miaka mine hadi mitano hivi lakini jukumu letu kubwa jukumu letu kubwa ni kuhakikisha kwamba mkenya anapata sauti mkenya anasaidiwa kutoa sauti yake kuhusu masuala mbalimbali ambayo yanamsibu na haswa masuala mengi ambayo tumeangazia sana sana ni kuhusu e, masuala ya haki za kibinadamu kuhusu masuala ya afya masuala ya ugatuzi na vile vile Masuala tu mengine hata ya elimu, masuala mengine ambayo labda wananchi mashinani hawawezi wakayafikia. Basi that's basically what we have been doing, reaching out to the communities and giving them a voice. The less vulnerable tunawapatia sauti at least wapate kutoa story yao. Kuna mtu utampata labda ameshindwa hata kusomesha mtoto, wanaleta ile appeal. We have done so many appeals here. Uh, because we believe that a media station should be able to reach out to that voiceless person to promote talents among its our communities in Kenya and in doing so we have given many a livelihood we have given many a voice to be heard and even following our social media pages Facebook and TV Kenya YouTube Tandao TV Kenya, Instagram Tandao TV Kenya, TikTok the same Tandao TV Kenya and Twitter at Tandao TV Kenya. You will see our push has mainly been to promote and nurture our Kenyan content, reach out to our people, give them a voice and all that. Kwa hivyo E, lilikuwa kama jambo la kushangaza sana. Lilikuwa jambo la kushangaza sana kuona rafiki yangu mkubwa na vile vile a very very big name in content creation the Pluto. Ni kijana ambaye kweli personally napenda kazi yake. Napenda kazi yake na sio ati labda hadijawahi kuongea na Pluto anaweza kupitisha kinyume kama nadanganya na sio vile tena kwamba sisi
kama runinga ya mwananchi atandao tv kenya tunatumia e, tunaiba bila nilisema tunaiba content yake hayo ni maswala ambayo sita dwell so much because he has talked openly vile anataka kutupeleka kotini so it's a matter that i will leave it to the courts and also to our legal team to deal with it because uh, contrary to what somebody might believe we are not doing anything wrong we have not done anything wrong in promoting our kenyan content because that's the calling even the communication authority of kenya the media council of kenya and even artists like eric yomond they talk about media stations promoting the kenyan content and this is what we have been doing exactly making sure that not only can we achieve 60% of the requisite Kenyan content vile inavyotakikana but we have done to 90% over 95 because we look out for this upcoming content we look out for these others uh, and then we promote nasiat kwa kuiba because when you look exactly you look keenly on what the pluto is propagating as stealing just check that screen grab ambaye amechukua akaweka kwa instagram yake na akasema huu ni wizi just look keenly beneath that screen grab what do you see subscribe to the pluto show we have not said subscribe to tandao tv kenya ndio mtu aseme we are using his material to promote ourselves we have been very fair doing that pushing and even explaining to our viewers please subscribe comment like share this content give the support and we add watch the videos as many as possible because we know by people subscribing and watching the videos that's how they can push up the content adverts can fly there and somebody can get paid i want to ask kenyans what mistake have we committed here in trying to push in trying to promote our content our kenyan content to our viewers mashinani wengine hawajai jua hata it can be uh, said very well when you look at the uh, facebook comments that are coming out from the posts that have come out you will find that over 90% of those people commenting there are really telling the world that they didn't knew they didn't know the pluto they didn't know the pluto but through tanda tv kenya promoting him for free they have managed to subscribe and follow his content because we just give a sneak preview a sneak preview and now tell people subscribe comment like share and i think if somebody talks about sharing youtube youtube comment, content i think you understand what that means so i want to tell uh, our viewers most of who are going on facebook maybe to launch attacks on the pluto i want to tell them please don't do that he remains a very resourceful friend a very resourceful kenyan who will not will not stop but will continue promoting him because we understand what our promotion has also done people have commented saying no we want to unsubscribe i want to appeal to our viewers who are maybe taken aback a bit frustrated and are, and a bit annoyed by whatever that has been posted not to unsubscribe in fact i want to urge you to tell your friends to tell your families anybody who loves tandao tv kenya and what we do and you have shown us a lot of love through those facebook facebook comments we have been following thank you very much you say thank you very much you have shown us a lot of love and support 
I want to urge you to extend the same love and support to the Pluto. He might have cast us somehow negatively, but let's not respond negatively. We are practicing Christians. I want to urge you to respond to him with love, more support, and continue subscribing. Urge many people to subscribe to the Pluto's channel and other channels that you see. Because nowadays, YouTube is really giving livelihoods to many people. And when any Kenyan, any friend of ours, any Kenyan for that sort, for that matter, has decided that he or she is doing content, please, what you can do as you watch that content, watch at least half of it or all of it. And when you see adverts popping up, don't skip. Watch those adverts. It's going to help that content creator to also get something to push his content, do more research and produce even better content and even go out even to buy equipment that can further improve on his or her production. So I'm urging our viewers, our very able viewers and supporters to not to attack the Pluto, to support him because that's what we shall stand for. That's what we tell you to do and continue subscribing, urging friends to subscribe because we do that for free. We do that for free for him and many others. So for us to grow the Kenyan content, we should not be threatened by legal action that is not even warranted. For us to grow the Kenyan content, we have to watch and support our own content. Instead, instead of putting media stations in a tight corner whereby they will be forced maybe to promote foreign content from Nigeria, from Uganda, from Tanzania, from abroad, maybe in Europe, US. Because that's what most of them are doing because they fear about this issue of somebody coming up to besmirch them like now. So, I want just to urge our viewers, and you have shown you are so many of you, and many, many more others have joined us through our website, www.tandotvkenya.co.ke, to continue showing love instead of hatred. Show love to our friend P. Pluto, and he knows, whatever he is, whatever he's watching this, that. I, Robert Wanyonyi, I'm talking this right from my heart of hearts. I'm hurt, yes, but I still feel there is a better way that people can engage. For example, if you know you have an issue to address, like this one, you simply seek legal redress instead of going to publications to cast us in negative light are shown as badly but I just want to thank the many many Kenyans some who have never who have never met some who we have met maybe some we have never talked but they have come out to put the record clear straight about how they discovered or knew about the Pluto through turned out TV Kenya and there are many you go to Facebook there is a there's a page called Pulse. Pulse, they have that story. You can read the comments for yourself. There is Base Radio. Base Radio on Facebook. You can go there, read the comments, and we say thank you very much, Kenyans. I don't have anything to give you, but I want to cast a blessing, a prayer to you wherever you are, so that whatever that you are doing, whatever that you are engaged in, may it give you better fruits. May it yield to help you because of standing for us when we had no voice because of those accusations. We will continue. I have not said that maybe that will be a stop. No. 
will continue su subscribing to many many other content creators and seeking out those who wish to be promoted come out tell us tell us about how you want us to promote you and we will do it without asking you for any penny the same way we have been doing for others just say i have content yes we will promote you maybe this will come out as the only station that is fighting tooth and nail to ensure that Kenyan content is watched, is listened to, and is promoted to ensure that our artists get something in return for their hard work. Because many years before, they have been neglected, they have been suffering, but now, with the emergence of many media stations in Kenya, both radios, TVs, blogs, websites, and even others are pushing through apps, we say thank you very much. The government has done that to ensure that there is improved, increased space whereby Kenyans can showcase their content to the world. And we should not dampen these spirits of many Kenyans who are coming up. We as Standout TV Kenya, talking as the CEO, I want to assure you, wherever you are, you are a Kenyan content creator. You want to market your content. You go somewhere, they tell you, pay 5,000, pay 10,000, pay 50,000, pay 100,000. Before we can even think of listing your music, listing your content, listing your movie, come to us. Because Standard TV Kenya, we are a station of people. Runinga ya manainji. Tutakufanya bure bilashi. Wacha sisi wanye tulipia licenses. Tulipia signo, tulipia maitaji yote, lakini tuakikishe wewe mkenya ambaye unatoa kondendi yako. Unataka ipate platform, upate kujulikana. Tukupatia subscribers, tukupatia viewers, come to us. I will give you the hotline number, ambaye unazatuma labda message ya WhatsApp, ama message, direct message. Or at once you can call because it's an ever busy line, but you can call. Once in a while we will pick your call, but if we can't pick it because of being too busy elsewhere, you send a text message or you send a WhatsApp message. Together, if you have a link already with your content, put it there. Put your link, say I'm um, so and so, I want you to promote my content. If it's music, and I love those people producing music, gospel plus secular. They usually send us their links without any strings attached. They say, please, they say, please promote us. And we do that. We don't ask for any penny. And in case, in case any staff maybe or anybody asks you for a payment to play content or to do that. No, we have not done that. And we promote content for free. For free without payment so i just want to appeal to our kenyan content creators to come up tando tv kenya is here for you and we will ensure that we promote your content to the world for free we will host you for an interview you talk about your content then we'll play your content for free without asking you for anything because we feel that is something we can easily give back to the community. So our hotline number that you should be uh, sending your request is, is here. 0701 So feel free to contact us in any form. And we'll be there to support you, to promote you, and where necessary, also boost you if we can. I want to finish with a small story from the old Greek. There was a man called Daedalus, and he had a son called Icarus. So Daedalus and Icarus were very, very wise people, especially Daedalus because he was the father 
and the father fathers are mostly you know them they have a lot of wisdom so Douglas wanted to escape from to escape from his territory that they they felt there are so many diseases there were so many calamities and during those days 15th century BC wherever there were calamities wherever there were sicknesses wherever there was hunger wherever there was drought people usually relocated to safer grounds so the area that Daedalus and Icarus wanted to relocate to because Daedalus had a wife but she died after giving birth to Icarus so Daedalus was staying with his son and they decided that now they have to relocate and that place they were relocating you had to pass through the ocean then the other end you reach the promised land that they wanted to settle Daedalus was thinking hard and hard and ask himself how am i going to cross this sea there, there are no boats we have no ships here we have no means of transport but here we are we have to relocate very fast because the calamities the calamities might just engulf us as even may, may, maybe we might die from the same so he thought hard after some hours or days Daedalus came up with an idea he looked for feathers some strong feathers and he looked also for some wax feathers and wax so he waxed his son first with the feathers to be able to fly and then he waxed himself with the feathers also to be able to fly and the feathers looked good they tried testing kidogo ikaonekana yes they can fly then Daedalus sat down his son and told him my son i know sometimes you are too fast with your ideas you are too fast with your decisions but i want to advise the secret is that for us to cross the sea safely and reach our new destination to settle don't fly just very near the sea very near the sea the waves those cold waves of the waters might make you uh, are the, the feathers to get wet and fall off and also don't fly above too high close to the sun because the sun might wax might melt the wax and the feathers might fall off and you can see what can happen if that happens so the secret is that don't fly too near to the sea so that the cold waves might make your feathers wet and damp and also don't fly too close to the sun because the sun might melt the wax so that your feathers might fall off and you'll fall to the ground and die the sun said father i've had you so it reached the time for the journey they rose they left they were flying so well they were flying so well for like one hour they were just close at the middle there moderately flying then it reached a point uh, Icarus got very much excited and said my father is like drifting off in the softness of sleep can i just try why was he telling me i can't go higher let can i just go higher and then come back and join him in the journey because we are almost at the middle the father was moderately flying and enjoying the breeze the scenario and just closing his eyes to allow the feathers to, to fly so icarus took that opportunity he forgot all about the advices of the father and flew higher he didn't know that he was going too high and too close to the sun immediately he reached a point whereby he started feeling a lot of heat then all of a sudden he found himself the wax was melting was burning him as it dripped back to the ground to the ocean and the feathers fell off icarus came from the from the air like a balloon came and hit the water and died instantly deadlas was very sad he just watched his son falling from the 
heir to the water and to his death. Daedalus proceeded with his journey because he could not go near the ocean so that his feathers might get damp and so that he drowns it also. So he connected with his, with his moderate journey until he reached the destination that he was going to. Though he was sad, but he still continued forgetting, uh, remembering about his son and what he advised him. He raised another family in the promised land, in the new land, but he was very sad because he lost his son, Icarus. Because Icarus could not listen to Daedalus, his father. And that's the sad story of the Greek story about Daedalus and Icarus. I think it speaks to your mind, whoever watched this, maybe you have learned one or two. And that's it from us, Robert Wanyonyi YouTube channel. I'm also a content creator, and I can say without any fear of contradiction that this, that this is my content. I can say this is my content. Continue subscribing, watching the videos, commenting, liking, sharing. I allow you to share this content to many people because I know it will inspire one or two who are also walking this journey. Share. If you are a radio station, you are a TV station, you are a blog, you are a content creator of any nature, share this content widely. I have given live permission for you to share. It's, it's my content and I've given you the permission to share widely. I will not have any qualms. I will not take you to court because it's my content. I've not done it with the second or third person who might be needing maybe some legal issues before I interview them. But for me, this is my content. I give it to you for free. Share, like, comment, and more importantly, subscribe to give us the support. On behalf of the Tandao TV fraternity, the staffs who are very committed to ensure we continue serving you. On behalf of our very, very able online community our fans our viewers have nothing to tell you but just blessings 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 and much love we will continue serving you we'll continue promoting you we'll continue giving you a voice for the content creators i've said there i've given a hotline number 0701-066-991 give us your content we will air we will promote you we will do everything that is possible to ensure that you also reach out, you also make a name, and you also make a coin from the work that you are doing. From us, Tandao TV Kenya, Board of Management, our staffs, our viewers, and our prayer warriors, I say thank you very much for watching this. I'm Robert Wanyonyi, and then I drop another video on behalf of my director here, Leonard Wasike, we say thank you so much, we love you so much, and Brother Pluto, we love you so, so much, and we will continue supporting, promoting you. Ukitupiga ni sawa, lakini sisi, tukona mikono wazi, tutazidi kukusaidia, tutazidi kukupromote, tutazidi kukuombea. Hatuna vita, lakini, lolote, mungu, anatuangazia sisi wote. Thank you very much. God bless you. Amen.